Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Valder BB, I have been waiting for this moment all morning. I am so happy to finally get to talk to you. Well, I'm so excited, Mark, to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB show. You're welcome. It's a thrill. Well, you're on one of my favorite show, Royal Pains, and say it's not so. Say it's not the final season. It is the final season, Valder BB. And I can't believe it. I know. I know. What can we do? It, you know, it's been a great run. Uh, it's not like we're going out in the middle. Um, it's not like they're pulling the plug. Basically, the show has reached its natural end, and the network has given us this amazing season eight with incredible guest stars, an incredible musical episode, traveling to Hong Kong, an episode I got to direct. Uh, so much packed into one eight-episode season. You got to direct. That's very impressive, Mark. I directed five episodes, uh, and in directing them, I got to put my father in one episode. He played an ice cream man. And in, uh, in a week from Wednesday night's episode, the third episode, I direct in Hong Kong, and I put my brother in the episode. I wish I would have known how to call you up so I could be in the last episode because it looks like you got nothing but friends and family oh, there. Oh, Valder Beebe, I would have had you on in a heartbeat. I love it, Mark. Let me ask you, are you preparing yourself for your next act? That's a part of the directing? Uh, yeah, I love directing. I hope that that's a part of my next phase of my career. Um, I, I, it's such a privilege that was afforded me by the network and the showrunners Michael and Andrew, who supported me directing. Um, it's just great when you get to step out of your own character's narrow focus and tell the story of all the characters on the show and, and put your hand in the DNA of a show that has been so great and, and so powerful and get to direct comedic scenes. I've gotten to direct what was like a hip hop video. I've gotten to direct a chase sequence, a dream sequence, um, high drama, High comedy, uh, so I'm I'm very lucky to have had that opportunity. Well, you have, and you've had a what they call a really good run on a show that that maintained its popularity throughout its running. How did you guys do that? Uh, you know, Valder, I I can't tell you the 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 ingredients to a secret sauce, but we were lucky enough to be on a show that had heart and comedy and drama and pathos on a network that was just reaching the apex of its success, USA Network. We were, you know, we had Burn Notice as our lead-in, and by the fourth episode, we had, we had beaten them in our ratings, and now we were on the map, and we knew we'd go like a season or two, but to go eight seasons is a dream come true. We've gotten to tell incredible medical stories while, uh, you know, t showing the characters that our audience loves, like Divya, who in our final season is, is applying to medical school while figuring out uh, how she's going to raise her growing family with her husband, Raj. We have my brother and his wife, Paige, who are trying to start a family. We have Jeremiah, who's really grown up and now looking for love. We have Boris, my landlord, who is part of the world of international intrigue that has led us to places like Budapest and Hong Kong and Puerto Rico and Cape Town, South Africa, and, um, and in our final season, we have a musical episode, the second to last episode with, with, with uh, Christine Ebersole 
and Cloris Leachman, a living legend who plays the lead in, in our musical episode where, we, where I'm singing and dancing. I don't even know what's happening, but it's, it's an amazing season, and we're just so lucky we've gotten this far. Well, you've been on eight season, and since that eight season, you know, medicine, true medicine, has really almost, I would like to say, followed your show, meaning doctors weren't really making a lot of house calls at that time, but now that is people are creating businesses that do that, and I, I credit you guys a lot for that. Wow. You know, that's a lot of credit uh, that you're giving us, and we'll take maybe a, a fraction of it, but... The truth is, the, the writer of the pilot, Andrew Lencheski, he was a visionary when he wrote this pilot. And, and what he, the story he told then has come to pass now in America. And you're finding a lot of doctors who are, you know, moving away from the HMOs and moving towards concierge medicine because I think they can make more money, you know, handling patients. But the beauty of concierge medicine, if, if, even if it's not a great indication of how our healthcare situation is in America, it, it, it's a return of doctors treating patients directly instead of looking them, at them as numbers. And Hank was the best example of the best of concierge medicine because I made a promise season one that I would take care of the rich and the poor alike. And I have never uh, failed to take care of both the, the famous Hamptonites and Jim the fisherman and Don the policeman and we bring these characters back season after season because that's what Hank is all about, is being loyal to his patients. And it, it, return, it harkens back to a time like when Marcus Welby was on the air, when doctors really knew their patients, knew their families, and that's the best way to be responsible for their health care is to know everything about them. And, and that's what Hank is all about. Well, Hank, it, Hank will be missed. We'll catch Hank in Binge Weekend and reruns and podcasts and all of that. We'll catch the whole crew of Royal Pain. Let me ask you, when, when will we see the final episode on USA Network? Uh, I don't know the exact date, but it's, uh, you know, tonight is our second episode. So six weeks later will be our finale. Uh, five weeks later will be our musical episode. And then, and then we will answer all those questions about what will happen to Divya and medical school, what will happen to Jeremiah in his life, what will happen to Evan and Paige as they try to have a child. And of course, one, one big question, I hope for our audience members is, will Hank find the love of his life? And I can tell you right now, the answer is yes, he will, but I cannot <laughs> tell you, Valder Beebe, who it is. So you have That's to, okay. You have I, to I, tune love, in. I love having a sneak peek into that. Yes, Hank will find love. That makes... That's a great way for us to end. I got a little information that I love hearing. I want to thank you so much, Mark, for talking about the final season. I want to thank you for doing Royal Pains because I re I've really enjoyed it. My audience obviously has enjoyed it. We've had nothing but good things to say about the show on Facebook. Well, Valder Beebe, this is my final episode of this morning and one of the last ep interviews I will do as the actor who played Dr. Hank Lawson, and I couldn't ask for a better interview to end on. What a great note to end on. Thank you so much for that tribute and for watching and for having me on your show. Mark Kornstein from Royal Pains. Mark, thank you so very much. I wish you the best that God has to offer your life. I wish you the same.